Hey YouTube, this is the Chicago Electric, better known as Harbor Freight, 90 amp flux core weller. I got this for free, which is not a difficult thing to do because a lot of people see the $80 to $100 price tag, depending on whether it's on sale or not. Pick one up to learn welding, fool around, whatever, as a spare. They put the spool of wire that comes with it in the machine, fire it up, and go, holy cow, this thing really, really stinks. Well, they're right, but it's not as though it's unsalvageable. There are some simple modifications that you can make to this thing that help it a lot. And then there's some more complicated modifications that really turn it into not a first class welder. It's got some inherent limitations that there's just no way to get around, but you can make it at least an order of magnitude better than it ships out of the box. So this one right here is in fact in that out of the box configuration. It has the 030 Harbor Freight wire that comes with the welder installed in it. The rollers are in their default configuration as is the torch head uh, with one little exception. This one, somebody already made the first real easy modification that helps this thing out. The cone that's on the end of the gun, which quite frankly, you don't even need for flux cord welding because there's no gas. Um, but out of the box, this thing is way too long. The cone extends an eighth, maybe a quarter of an inch past the end of the electrode tip and uh, that ends up giving you too much stick out when you weld. By the time you get the cone in there, even if it's touching the workpiece, uh, especially if you're on an inside corner or something, there's way too much wire sticking out. So, uh, the previous owner of this thing took this cone, put it on the bench grinder, and ground it down even with the, with the welding tip. Um, I highly recommend that you do that or do what I'm going to do after I do this first bead in the quote unquote default configuration, uh, just get rid of it. So having said that, let's plug this guy in, fire it up, and go over here to the scrap piece and just run a bead and see what it is that everybody hates so much about this welder. 